I found baby's heartbeat for the very first time at home with my husband and it was beautiful. It was Hey everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. My name is Deshauna and today I'm sharing with you my 15 week pregnancy update. If you're interested in seeing everything that went on during week 15 of my pregnancy, go ahead and keep on watching. I have sickle cell disease type SC hemoglobin and today I'm going to be going over my 15 week pregnancy update. Now I will be doing all of these updates the same exact way. I start off by telling you a little bit about baby, baby's size, baby's development. I also go into my symptoms, what I've been personally going through this week and then I end with a shot of the baby bump. So make sure to watch this whole entire video so that you can see what my week 15 belly is looking like. All right, let's get into some of the stats. So I pulled up the app on my phone. So week 15, baby is 4.57 inches and 3.53 ounces. And as you all know, I love to do the size by sweets. So baby this week is the size of a donut. I don't mean a donut hole, like a donut. So. Let me show you. Baby is the size of a donut. I want to make sure it focuses for you. So this week, baby's heartbeat is beating regularly. On average, about 150 BPM or beats per minute. The bones inside your baby's body are hardening and the tiny legs and arms are now completely formed. Even though your baby's eyes are still closed, they have the ability to sense changes in lights through their eyelids. Oh, that's so cute. So let's get into me and what I've been dealing with in week 15. Week 15, I need a nap. I am so tired. By 1.30, 2 o'clock, I am ready for bed. Typically, I wake up when my husband wakes up and uh, on weekdays, it's around 7.45, if not earlier, and I'm tired by like 1.30, 2 o'clock. So I've been taking a couple of naps this week. Still working from home. Yep. We are here, we are all on shelter in place, kind of lockdown going on right now due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So I am working from home, I am safe at home, and I am enjoying this time with my husband and our growing baby. I also got my appetite back. That was something that was pretty interesting. I know in a couple of previous updates, I really wasn't feeling the food so not so much that I'm craving food but I am realizing that it is more than a necessity I'm starting to feel a lot like mm, I'm hungry I want to eat right now which is different than previous weeks there has been so much burping this week y'all like burping out of nowhere I can understand if I'm drinking something maybe something that's carbonated but like I'm just burping out of nowhere so Lots of burps going on this week. <laughs> also, waking up. I mentioned it earlier. I'm waking up pretty early with my husband, but it's also like in the beginning of this week, it was so hard for me to get out of bed. Like, I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to move. So I actually was working from home in my bed a couple of times this week in the morning. All right, and as most of you know, if you saw my update last week that I had my second prenatal appointment this week and I told you all to send all of your love and all of your prayers so that my husband could be able to come. Unfortunately, he was not able to come to the second prenatal appointment with me. He was able to drive me there and he sat in the car, but I had to go in by myself. It was very interesting the way that my hospital has changed and done some things to accommodate what's going on in our world right now. I got dropped off. I was met by three different people in gloves and masks and large jackets. I was asked a series of questions before I could even get anywhere near the opening to the door where my appointment was happening. So I was asked uh, what my symptoms were, if anyone around me has had some symptoms. 
I was asked kind of like where I was going in the hospital, like what am I here for? Do you have an appointment? Told them the appointment. They asked the department in which my appointment was in. So I had to let them know all of that. Then there was a little hand washing station where I had to wash my hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. And there were two people who were just standing there watching me wash my hands. And then they passed on a card to me. This card literally, there was no identifiable information. It was just like, basically you can go into the hospital. So I went inside, it was, you, Y'all, it was so quiet in there. Like every other time that I've gone to my OB's office, like that department is popping. There are people, there are partners, there are kids or strollers. It's just a popping department <laughs> in my hospital. And so there was no one there. There was, it was me and then there were some of the people that worked there and that was it. I went up, I told them I had an appointment. Typically you give them your you know, insurance card, you tell them who you are. They didn't take any of that, they just looked at it. And they were just like, okay, you can put it back now. You know, they got all my paperwork ready and yeah, I asked them what I do with that little car that they gave me and there's a recycle bin over there, you can just throw it in there. So I did that. Um, they brought me back, they did my vitals, they did my weight, everything was great. I actually lost weight <laughs> since the first prenatal appointment. Obviously, it was just a really small amount. It wasn't anything important. My doctor didn't even bat an eye at it. Uh, she basically said it could have been the clothes that I was wearing today versus, you know, or that day versus the day that I came prior. So she wasn't dealing with that at all. She did not care. <laughs> um, so my OB was telling me that it very well may, it very well may be that my husband can't come to our 20 week ultrasound where they do the anatomy scan and all of that. And so she asked me to ask the tech if I can FaceTime. So I'm soliciting your prayers again to hopefully in the next couple weeks, I can find out if my husband can come to the point where we find out the sex of our baby. Like, can he come to that appointment? Like, please. So uh, it's just a lot, you know, I'm gonna have to prepare myself for the possibility that he might not be able to come and really just prepare emotionally for what that looks like. It's gonna be completely different than what we envisioned because again, this just came out of nowhere. So um, prayers up for that, so we'll see. During the appointment, they, my doctor basically just talked to me about my upcoming appointment. She talked to me about my third prenatal appointment and how that very well may be like a phone or video appointment. She gave me a tape measure or measuring tape so that I can measure just in case our next appointment has to be over the phone or um, via video so I can keep track of my belly progression. Like that's really awesome. And she brought in a fetal Doppler. So she brought in a fetal Doppler. I, I knew that I wasn't gonna have another ultrasound, but again, just having to wait from 12 weeks all the way to 20 weeks to hear baby's heartbeat, that was like, ugh, way too long. So when I saw her walk in holding a Doppler, I got so excited. So that's one of the first things she did is had me lay down. She did the Doppler. Her baby, baby is sounding great. She also taught me how to use a Doppler because I mentioned to her that I had a Doppler at home but I wasn't able to find the heartbeat. I really hadn't tried that much just because I don't wanna spend too much time on the Doppler. I wanna kinda of get in, get out, and you know be satisfied. I didn't wanna be searching too long with it. So she taught me a couple of tricks. Basically the baby is a lot lower than I thought. <laughs> um, I'm feeling so big and so large that I was misestimating where baby was inside so she showed me where to look and when I got home I found baby's heartbeat for the very first time at home with my husband and it was beautiful it was so beautiful and I love my fetal Doppler so if you all go and watch my baby products haul video you'll know that I purchased that um, a little while back and it's just so great to actually be able to use it correctly and find my baby's heartbeat and not just mine. <laughs> I'm not feeling any fetal movement at this point in the pregnancy, but hearing baby's heartbeat is such a continued reassurance that I love. It's the sweetest sound, so I am very grateful for that. I will keep you all posted.
<laughs> make sure you continue to watch these updates because the first moment that I feel baby move some stuff around, I'm about to let you all know. So that brings us to the end of this video. That's it. That's all that I have for week 15. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I will go ahead and show you my belly bump and then I'll go ahead and close out the video. All right. Hey everyone. So here is belly at week 15. Here's baby from this side. Here is baby as well. All right, y'all. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you right back here in the next one. And remember to always, always fill your cup. You are worth it. Bye.